Welcome to Reform Tech Channel. In this video, we'll see what is an auto scaling, and I'll also show you how it works. So, in general, auto scaling uh, enables to scale you know, cloud services such as server capacities or any virtual machines. You can scale it up or scale it down automatically. So, based on whatever we define, so it does uh, automatically scale up or scale down. Okay. Now we are going to see about the uh, Amazon EC2 auto scaling. Uh, so this helps you to maintain application availability and allows you to automatically add or remove EC2 instances according to the conditions which we define. Okay. So for which uh, first we have to have an uh, auto scaling I mean, template. So or an configuration. I'll show you what is a template and also I'll run you through about how to create it. Alright, so I'm going to the EC2 instance and here in the EC2 you will see a launch template. Alright, so uh, you can create a template and keep. Uh, the good advantage of template is that you have multiple versions. Okay, so for example, you can name it as a dev, prod or something like that. Okay, so you can name, uh, in, name it in different versions and you can use these templates while you create the auto scaling groups. Alright, so let me create auto scaling template. I'm, I'm sorry, EC2 uh, launch template now. So I'll go here and I'll say create launch template. I have to define a name for it. I'll say reform tech and uh, the template version. So you can choose whatever version you want. Uh, in my case, I'll just say it is a test version. Alright, so the other things, it depends on you whether you want to give tags to it, you want to have a source template, but I'll leave as it is now. And now we have to choose the image, okay? So I'm going to have the Amazon Linux. And uh, so this is the configuration, the architecture is 64 bit and x86, so if you want you can change your ARM. I'll leave as it is now. And now I'll go to instance type, I'll choose the t2.micro. And if you have an existing keypad, you can choose or you can leave this also as it is. I will say don't include in launch templates. And in network settings, I have to go and choose the uh, subnet. So I'll choose our uh, public subnets. I can choose the public subnet here. And then I'll have to choose a security group. So you can create one security group or you can choose the existing security group. For now, I'll leave the security group as default. And this is the storage. Uh, storage, you can also add the storage for each EC2 instance. So this is so uh, for now, I'll leave as it is and you can tag the resource. Yeah, so once this is done, uh, maybe in the advanced details, you have these details like you want to have a spot instance or you want to have a, you know, a on demand instance. You can set the types here and the set on behavior. So you want to stop it or you want to terminate it. So all the other configurations can be set here. Okay, so these are the configuration. They're self-explanatory. So you can just run through and select according to your requirement. Okay, so and this user data is something like you know you can uh, add your script here so that uh, automatically when the image boots up, it boots up with the uh, it runs the script and it makes sure that it installs everything. For example, you want to install. Uh, Python or you want to insert Java with the instance when the instance starts, right? So you can mention a script here and it will do as, as per the requirement, okay? So I'm not doing anything for now and I'll say create launch con template now. It's creating, yep, it's done, okay? So now if you go to launch templates, you have one template, alright? So now with this launch template, we have to create a auto scaling group, alright? So I'll go to the auto scaling group which is just below this the last you see this auto scaling groups I'll just click on this and now I'll say create auto scaling group all right this is the first screen you see when you create auto scaling group and you have to name it so let me name it as reform take underscore auto scaling group ASG all right now we have to choose a template so the template is the one which you created in uh, the previous uh, discussion so if you want you can create a template here or if you say switch to launch configuration you have to create a launch configuration also so either of the thing you can do either you could uh, create a launch configuration launch configuration and you have to import it here 
or we, if you have a launch template you can import the launch template also here and as I said launch template are different versions so you can choose your uh, specified versions also so I will choose our launch template that is reform tech and it is asking for the version and ours is the default the one okay and this is the test yeah this seems to be good now I'll say next now we have to choose the VPC and I'm going to launch it in our VPC reform tech VPC the subnet I'll choose public subnet you can choose n number of subnets so maybe I'll choose two subnets because this is the availability zone right so the machines will be distributed in these subnets so that you know if one availability zone goes down also you have the other availability zone up right so it's always a good practice to uh, keep it distributed alright so now uh, I'll see the instance type requirements studio micro all good alright so I say next now if you have a load balancer uh, you can attach this load balancer here and also you can do the health checks also this these are optional okay so I'm not doing any of this now I'll say next and you have a desired minimum and maximum this is very important so desired is the number of instances that stays always alright so uh, if you say two uh, initially it will create two instances and this desired it will make sure that it maintains the two instances always and minimum you can mention it as one or whatever is your requirement and maximum I wanted to go to up till four okay alright so this is set now scaling policies if you want you can set any scaling policy I'm not doing it for now I'll say next notifications so uh, if you configure the SNS topics and uh, if you have any email set or if you have any message set there so you can set it up so that whenever an instance goes down or if auto scaling happens it will notify you saying that uh, this thing has happened right so uh, I do not have any SNS topics so I'm just leaving it as it is now and say next uh, tags you can add tags to it uh, but I'm not doing it for now as well I'll say next alright this seems to be good you can review it and I'll say create auto scaling group alright so it's just creating now let's see alright so it says the desired capacity is 2 minimum is 1 maximum is 4 as per the one we mentioned I'll click on this now I'll just scroll this up and close this off alright so if you go to this activity and there's no activity notification this auto scaling if you go this is you can see the dynamic scaling policies the predictive scaling policies are here and this if you go to instance management you will see that two instances is being launched so we have mentioned that the desired is two right so uh, two uh, EC2 instances are getting launched let's wait for a while to uh, get this machines launched and this could also be found in our EC2 dashboard if you go to our EC2 dashboard and if you go to instances and you will see that there are two instances that are getting created uh, these are just initializing okay right so uh, let it initialize and now I'll show I'll show you how this auto scaling group work so for which I have what I'm to do is I'm going to delete one of this instance and uh, so since we have said the desired to be two so it has to create another instance instantly right so for example uh, the instance ID which ends with 355 all right so I'm going to terminate this instance I'll check this I'll say terminate instance all right I'll just terminate it okay so this is shutting down and I'll quickly go to the auto scaling groups and uh, I'll check this and now in the instance management yep if you scroll down you will see that 355 is in service I'll just refresh to see it will take some time to reflect let's wait for it to reflect so it's still showing that 355 is in service let's wait for some more time and see that it auto it automatically grows down and it will create a new instance so this should happen and let's see let's also go to the EC2 dashboard and see what's happening here I'll go to the running instance and as you could see there's only one instance now alright so another instance has to create created now let's quickly jump to the auto scaling groups now uh, I'll check this again instance management uh, uh, okay so now if you see you don't have that 
355 instance now all right so that instance got deleted and I haven't created this instance so the system automatically created an instance uh, with this instance ID okay meaning that the decide value is 2 so whenever one instance goes down it will make sure that it creates another instance and uh, it will keep the decide capacity value as it is so if you mention it as 4 it always there will be 4 machines 4 EC2 instances and even, even if you terminate 2 it will terminate those 2 and it will create another 2 machines alright so this is how an EC2 auto scaling group works okay so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video